Hi, let's do this exercise. Solve the two linear systems. We have here two linear system. The first one, we called it system A, and the second one is system B. We have two different systems. We want to solve it. And as we know, it's better to solve these kind of system by linear system in the matrix. Here we have here the system and the system. The coefficient in the system A which is here the same as here. See this system exactly as this. So we can solve both of them in one matrix and we can put two augmented matrix let's do it we have here the first one one two three two five three one zero eight and now we want to put augmented matrix as before so here we have four five nine then the second augmented matrix why i put two augmented matrix because these coefficient here one two three as this one one two three two five three two five three one and here of course zero then eight here the same thing one zero eight so we can put only one matrix let's call this line here this line here b1 and let's call this one b2 this line here and this b1 so here we have for the second one 1 6 minus 6 it's very beneficial now we can see that to put them in augmented matrix here b1 and here b2 the result 1 and the result 2 now we want to solve it as before now we have to put these two 0 because here the leading one here this one or they called it pivot element pivot element For me, I every time I called it leading one. So here we have we have to subtract this row with this row, and of course we have to multiply this row by two. So row two minus two row one in r2 and here r3 subtracted from the first row minus row one and r3 so the first one it's not changing three four one and this is changing here 2 minus 2 it will be which is 0 5 minus 4 this one will be so it will be 1 3 minus it will be 6 so it will be minus 3 5 minus this one it's gonna be 8 then it will be minus 3 6 minus this one gonna be 2 which will be 4 I will close this one here 1 minus 1 which is 0 0 minus 2 which is negative 2 8 minus 3 which is 5 9 minus 4 which is 5 minus 6 
minus 1 which is minus 7 now we have here this is the leading one and of course this one is leading one so we have to put these two zero so here we have this one we have to subtract it with this one and of course we have to multiply this row by 2 so r1 minus 2r2 in r1 and here the same thing but we have to add this row by this row because negative 2 plus it should be here 2 so we have to multiply this one by 2 only by 2 so row 3 plus 2 r 2 in r 3 so here we have this one this one it's not gonna be changing 1 minus 2 multiplied by 0 which is 0 so it will be the same thing as 1 2 minus this one it's gonna be 2 which is 0 3 minus with negative it will be positive so 3 plus it will be 3 plus 6 which is 9 4 here minus with minus it will be plus so 4 plus 6 which is 10 1 minus 8 which is negative 7 now here for this one 0 plus 0 which is 0 negative 2 plus 2 which is 0 5 plus negative 6 which is negative 1 the same thing here 5 plus 2 multiplied by negative 6 which is negative 6 plus 5 which is negative 1 minus 7 plus 2 multiply by 4 which is 8 then it's gonna be 1 so now we have this is leading 1 this is leading 1 this one we have to put it leading 1 now so we have to multiply by minus 1 then it will be this one 1 then of course we have to make these two 0 so multiply let's do by it minus here. one. Minus three in row three in R three. So only we have multiplied this row by minus one. It's look like if you have x plus two y equal for example three. So it's like multiply this equation by negative 1 so it will be minus x minus 2y equal minus 3 so so it's look only multiply the equation by negative 1 so it will be like this so the same thing as here so here we have these two row it will be the same 0 0 1 1 negative 1 so here we have these three leading one now we have to put these two 0 We have to multiply this one by 9 
because 9 minus 9 it will be 0 so row 1 minus 9 row 3 in R1 and here we have to multiply by only 3 so row 2 so row 2 plus 3 row 3 in R2 so 1 minus it will be uh, minus 0 it will be 1 0 minus 0 it will be 0 9 minus this one it will be 9 so 0 because 9 minus 9 it will be 0 10 minus 9 it will be 1 negative 7 this one it will be plus because negative with negative so negative 7 plus 9 give us 2 here we have 0 plus 0 which is 0 1 plus 0 which is 1 negative 3 plus 3 because multiply by 3 it will give us 0 negative 3 plus 3 which is 0 4 plus with negative it will be negative so it's like 4 minus 3 which is 1 the third row the same thing here because we haven't changed anything on it now we have leading one leading one leading one so we have in each column leading one so these the final answer for these two system we have two systems so the for the first system for the system a we have x i write it in bold equal 1 0 1 for the system B the solution here which is this one the solution here it's like here X the solution X and here the solution X we have x equal 2 1 negative 1 we have solved it by reduced row echelon form they called it R R E F. You can solve it by Gauss elimination as we did before. Uh, of course, here this x represent these x one, x two, x three. I will make it more clear. So this x represent x one, x two, x three. Here for the system we have the solution for the system we have the solution if we substitute for example let's substitute here we have here substituted in the third equation here so x1 here equal 1 so substitute this one equal 1 and x2 of course here you don't have anything you can multiply by 0 but we'll do the third one 1 here let's do it 1 plus 8 multiply by 1 which give us 9 the same thing here let's do it in this one 2 and here we don't have anything so it's like 1 multiply by 0 here negative 1 so 2 plus negative 8 will give negative 6
this way to solve this system it's only applied if this coefficient same as this coefficient you can apply it of course if we have the same as this system multiply by 2 the whole thing we will get the same answer I will do example in the next video see you next